Hello everyone! Welcome back to my Tuesday Night Swing Dance Lessons. My name is Andrea Hardy and today I'll be going ahead and teaching y'all five more solo jazz moves that you can put into a choreography or if you just want to spice things up a little bit. So let's get started. Okay, so the first move I'm going to be going ahead and teaching y'all is called the boogie forwards and the boogie backs. You definitely have done this move if you have danced the shim sham before, a, a very famous line dance. So like the name says, you're boogieing it forward and you're boogieing it, <laughs> it back. So here's how it looks like if you need a little refresher on how it looks like. So here's the boogie forward. Here's the boogie back. There are definitely many different variations that you can do. That's just how I do it. So if you would like to see the different variations on how to do it, I suggest you probably just have to look it up on YouTube or just look it up online. You'll definitely see the many different ways that people have done it. Anyways, here's the basic one that I do. For the boogie forwards, you're gonna like kind of swoop out your right foot and place it down. Then you're gonna do the same thing for your left, swoop and down. And you're moving forward while you do so. Now you're doing that four times, eight counts. So here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From the back, here's how it looks like. Right, left. Right, left. Alright, for the boogie backs, what you're gonna do for the boogie backs, I tend to crouch forward and I tend to kick out my right foot, place it back, and then place my left foot afterwards. So kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left. From the back, here's how it looks like. Kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left. Now you're doing that four times for a total of eight counts, right? So one, two, three, four. All right, so all together from the back, we're gonna go ahead and do a boogie back and then we're gonna do a boogie forward. So five, six, seven, eight. Kick right left, kick right left, kick right left, kick right left. Now, I suggest you work on your footwork first, and then you can add in whatever hand moves, hand arm moves that you want to add, uh, just so that you kind of understand, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that you can kind of understand what you're going to do. Moving on to the next move. <laughs> the second move that I'm going to be teaching y'all is called a sis kaboom ba. You heard that right, sis kaboom ba. So here's how it looks like ba, sis kaboom ba, sis kaboom ba, sis kaboom ba. So how I do it, you kick out, you kind of swoop out your right foot or your left foot, it doesn't matter which one in this case. So sweep out your right, place it down, then it goes left to right very quickly. So out, Right, left, right, out, out, out. I think with counts, it goes one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. From the back, it looks like this. Ba, sis, ka, boom, ba, sis, ka, boom, ba, sis, ka, boom, ba, sis, ka, boom. And yeah, so that's how it looks like. Let me do it a tad bit slower for y'all, just in case I was too fast. So, one, two, three, and four, five, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's your Siska Boom Paws. Alright, so for this next move, we are doing what it is called inchies. Here's how it looks like. So, 
So those are inchies. Let's let me break it down for y'all. So for inchies, you're kind of moving from side to side and you're inching your way towards the right or towards the left. So for inchies, how you move your feet is it's kind of you're kind of on you're alternating between your heels and your toes. So put pressure on your heels, move your toes, and then go on your toes, move your heels, toes, heels, toes, heels. All right. So let me count off, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then on 8, you're going to go ahead and jump the opposite direction from where you were going. So 8, jump, now you can go like how I did where I kick out and my foot follows, or you can just, you can just jump with both your feet like this. Alright. So. We'll do one whole thing and then I'll stroke from the back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From the back, here's how it looks like. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, kick, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. All right, those are inchies. This next dance move that I'll be teaching y'all is called the scoot. You're literally just scooting right and left. Here's how it looks like you're doing a triple step. I'll break it down for y'all. So you're doing a triple step, like I said. So triple step, I do a hop, I bring up my left foot and then I tap on the ground. Then I do it again, triple step, hop, then the down. From the back, here's how it looks like. We'll go right and then we'll go left. So triple step, hop, down, triple step, hop, down, triple step, hop, A little bit faster, here's how it looks like. And yeah, so those are your scoots. All right, so this last move that I'll be teaching y'all is called a fall off the log. It's from the Tringy Do, if you've done that before. If you do, then great. Here's a little refresh refresher. So here's how the fall off the logs look like. So those are fall off the logs. So what you do is you kick out your right foot, clap, place it back down behind your left, step out with your left foot, cross over with your right, then kick out with your left foot and kind of pivot while you're doing to, do, doing so. So once you do that, you can do the same thing. Behind, over with your right, cross over with your left, kick out again with your right foot. And you do the exact same thing over as many times as you want. So from the back, so that y'all can see it, here's how it looks like. Kick out with your right, behind, left, cross over, left kick, behind, out, crossover, kick, behind, out, crossover, kick, behind, out, crossover. Do that as many times as you want. Let me do it with counts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the fall of the logs. All right, everyone, those are our five jazz moves today. Today, we learned the boogie backs and the boogie forwards. We learned scoots, siskaboomba, inchies, and fall off the logs. Now, I hope this helps you form your own choreographies, do whatever you want with them, jazz them up to your own jazz style.
I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, you can comment it down below. Or if you're watching this while we're premiering, we're having a live Zoom meeting after this video ends. So please go ahead and check out the UTSA Swing Dance Society group me for the link and for more information. We hope to see y'all there. Uh, anyways, if you can't make it, I'm so glad you took out the time of day to watch this video. We will see y'all in the next one. Bye! <laughs>